everyone, I'm Zelda. On May 12, a new adventure chapter will begin in the land of Hyrule. This time, Link will have four new skills. Time reversal, can reverse the trajectory of objects in motion. Salvage building, can combine weapons and any material props to create new weapons. Ultimate hand, in addition to being able to move objects freely, it can also rotate and stick objects together. Skyward skill, can freely traverse terrain with ceilings. In addition to these new skills, there are also many new materials and other surprises waiting for you to explore and experience firsthand, next I've collected the essential news summaries from four different news outlets to share with you. Firstly, I will start with the news from the New York Times. Ukraine is feeling pressure from its Western allies for success in a looming counteroffensive. Vladimir Putin seems to be operating on a longer timeline. The Air Force said it intercepted the hypersonic missile with a newly delivered U.S.-made air defense battery. U.S. officials confirmed the strike. The coronation, the first since Queen Elizabeth II's in 1953, was a royal spectacle of the kind that only Britain still stages. On Saturday, Charles finally became the focal figure of the long-running royal TV drama, If Only for a Day, our critic writes. The gunman was killed after he opened fire at a crowded mall outside Dallas. At least seven others, ranging in age from 5 to 61, were injured. Two fills was second in the 149th run for the Roses, which came after seven horses died at Churchill Downs. Now the attention turns to the Preakness Stakes. A review of over 9,500 messages obtained by the Times offers clues about the mindset of Jack Teixeira, the airman implicated in a leak of government secrets. What the Prime Minister says about the fraught history between the two nations could continue a nascent thaw that is underway, or bring it to a halt. Extreme weather linked to climate change is causing more blackouts. But generators and batteries are still out of reach for many. Also in this edition, the godfather of AI warns of danger ahead, and the bread course makes its debut. Followed by the news from the media outlet, Financial Times. Unprecedented investigation at the European Parliament has run into procedural problems. Move comes amid drop in value of local dollar and persistent inflationary pressures. Fall to 21-month low bolsters hopes that inflationary pressures are ebbing. Beijing looks at boosting investment in Afghanistan and bringing it into belt and road project. Market pricing indicates U.S. monetary tightening is over but has further to run in euro area. Case marks first time since Soviet era that a high-profile criminal case opens over contents of a theater play. Hackers and conspiracy theorists use platforms such as Telegram to exchange leaks for cash and bragging rights. Buoyed by petrodollars and renewed confidence, Riyadh has adapted its muscular approach to foreign policy. Winning back credibility with foreign fund managers will be grotesquely difficult. Republican Congressman Bob Good's hardline stance wins local support. After that, I will present the BBC News. A police officer on an unrelated call at the mall in Allen killed the gunman after hearing shots. UN watchdog warns of threat of a severe nuclear accident at the Zaporizhia plant in Ukraine. Investigators claim a man, who allegedly detonated the bomb remotely, was working for Ukraine. The royal family will attend local community events on Sunday as the weekend of celebrations continue. Questions about the country's gun laws are being asked following two separate attacks this week. Watch to see what's changed since 1953 and what's stayed the same. Mage wins the 149th Kentucky Derby as America's most celebrated race is overshadowed by the death of seven horses in the build-up. He was not invited to appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony after the service, the BBC understands. More than 100 wildfires rage in the western province of Alberta and 25,000 people are evacuated. 
The 86-year-old is still in hospital after suffering from a lung infection linked to his leukemia. And finally, I will discuss the news from the Japan Times. Rampant Yizo deer causing farm damage and traffic accidents in Hokkaido. Suspect in attack on Kishida served fresh arrest warrant over explosives. Japan and France to hold 2 plus 2 security talks on Tuesday. Japan and Singapore leaders affirm alignment on rules-based global order. One killed, 22 injured after magnitude 6.5 earthquake jolts Ishikawa. COVID-19 tracker, Tokyo logs 906 new cases. Nine dead after shooting rampage at Texas Mall. Russia blames U.S. and Ukraine for attack on pro-Kremlin writer. King Charles III crowned in ceremony blending history and change. Biden to name U.S. Air Force chief to top military post, officials say. That's a wrap for today's international news highlights. Hope you all got the lowdown on what's happening around the world and that your listening skills have reached new heights. Catch you all tomorrow, see you.